Hello guys and gals, we're back with the box, and we got a few things in here. I think this is bubble gum, actually, and this is gum, gum as well. Oh, uh, we have some Teo chips in here. This is pretzels, I think. I see M&Ms in there. And that's jerky, I guess. There's some cheese crackers there. So there really isn't much in here. So I'm almost to the point where I don't even need the box, I guess. I don't know if I want to open this big bag of chips. Just being honest. Um, I'm probably just going to reach straight back. I have no idea what's back there, but maybe it'll be something interesting. I can't see because this bag of chips is in the way. But I want to grab what's behind it. Oh, we have um, peanut butter M&Ms. I'll get this set up, and uh, we'll go from there. And we're back. Um, if you've clicked on this video, you already know that this is what we're reviewing. I didn't know when I started this video what I would be reviewing. But anyways, um, we have M&Ms here. And let's see. There's a glare here a little bit because of the, the phone light. Um, that weighs 1.63 ounces or 46.2 grams. So let's go. <laughs> anyways, um, it's kind of cute there. I like his little peanut butter hair type thing. And these should be really good. Um, let's see if there's anything else I need to know about. Mm, yeah. Pretty standard stuff. I guess that we'll open these up and we'll go from there. Okay, for starters, there's still plenty of M&Ms in here. There's, there's a lot. There's more than just that. Uh, it looks like there's a green M&M in here and a red. So there's a little bit of every color. Uh, it looks like we didn't get any green or red, but that's okay. Um, looks like we got mostly blue. They were really generous with the blue M&Ms, which is pretty cool. Um, but let's see. We're going to try one. This one is just as good as any. Uh, my my table here is level for once, so they're not rolling all over the place. That's always a plus. The bag was easy to open. Uh, you had to tear it um, vertically. Uh, horizontally wouldn't work. So anyways, and then these fit perfectly out. Melts in your mouth on your hand or something like that, if I remember their old logo. Anyways, let's try this. Hmm. Okay. They're very, very crunchy. I like that. It's the way that m ms should be. Peanut butter inside is extra rich. Very good. I honestly think that the uh, chocolate of the m ms mingles with the peanut butter really well. So kind of like having a Reese's Pieces in your mouth. Um, a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, but yeah, Reese's, um, yeah, Reese's Pieces. In a way, these are a lot like Reese's Pieces. And I'm not sure if Reese's... Wait, hold up just a sec. I'll have to do a deep dive deeper, but um, I was seeing if Reese's made M&M's also, but Hershey's makes M&M's, and so I don't know. I'll have to... I couldn't find the and sign on my keyboard. Um, but anyways, try another one. Hmm. Very good. Really, really good. The peanut butter is, is very, very smooth. It's very good. It has a really nice texture to it. Try this yellow one. Hmm. But I think, okay, so Reese's is Hershey's, and M&M's is M&M Mars. So I'm pretty sure they're different companies. But I don't know. No clue. But anyways, um, we'll try this orange one. I mean, again, th these aren't Skittles, so they're not different flavors based on color. And but apparently, according to the official M&M's website, you can shop M&M's by color. So, um... You know, there was that rumor going around about green M&M's. And um, so basically, if you wanted to, you could basically buy, like, an entire bag of green M&M's, apparently, or something. If I'm understanding the website, I have no idea. But anyways, um, these just all taste the same, which is perfectly fine, like they're supposed to. Okay. I see. Very, very good. Um, the chocolate, very, very good. It mingles really well with the peanut butter, like I said. Um, wonderful product. Um, I think these are a lot like peanut M&Ms, naturally, except, you know, the peanut butter, the peanut inside is really, really, you know, smushed up and really, really good. 
Um, I like both, actually. Actually, I like all flavors of M&M so far. And um, so, yeah. I even really like the chocolate Skittles. I, a lot of people had never heard of chocolate Skittles. They were kind of short-lived. And a lot of people thought they tasted terrible. But um, And a lot of people were like, well, aren't chocolate Skittles just M&Ms? But no, they, were, they aren't. They, they were literally Skittles that were chocolate-flavored. And um, they were really, really weird. And they, they actually re-released those, I think, a couple years ago. Because I know I sell them in stores again. And I'm like, oh, cool, they're back. But yeah, instead of being fruity, these these Skittles were actually chocolate flavored. And honestly, I liked them. They, there was like four different flavors. And uh, I think one of them was toasted marshmallow or s'mores or something. And then the others were just va- various. Um, one was like milk chocolate. One was dark chocolate. Uh, a lot of people didn't like them, though. So, um, but I'd love to have them again because I liked them. I always really liked the Skittles texture, you know. But as for this product, I think it's really, really good. If you like peanut butter and chocolate, you'll love these um, peanut butter M&Ms. Um, so, yeah, um, I would highly recommend you check those out. But that's just my opinion. And you can either take my opinion or leave it. Either way, it's fine. If you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe. And ring the bell so you know when I upload. Also, if you want to support me in any way or if you want to join the Discord server, all the information will be in the description below. As always, thanks for watching, everyone. You are loved and have a great day.